Through this presentation, I will share with you what is Auto Count on the go, the features currently available, and the benefit of using it. It is useful for which category of users, and also little cover on the system requirement. Lastly, and it's the most important one, is the way to try it out. So, what is Auto Count on the go? As Mr. Pister mentioned just now, on the go is the very hot terms that now stay. Many products they like to on the go. Astro on the go and also auto count on the go. Auto count on the go as known as AOTG. AOTG is an online version of auto count accounting. Currently it covers the features of debtors, creditors, sales, purchases, stock control, and also reporting. I call it an online version because we can access to AutoCount accounting database through internet by using any devices such as PC, laptop, smartphone, and also tablet. As for smartphone, it is able to support on iOS, Android, and also Windows. This is a diagram that shows how AOTG works. So maybe just now, the brief, you can't imagine how it works. You may look at the diagram. First of all, you just install your AutoCount accounting and AOTG client service on your HQ or office server. For those who are based in office or HQ, they can access directly to AutoCount accounting database as you normally do. So without using AOTG. So how about for people on the go? As for those who are on the go, such as the salesperson, directors, and also the staff from branches, they can easily log into AOTG through internet access. For login, they just need to key in the email address and also the password. Once logged in, they can access to AutoCount accounting database perform transactions, and also save the transactions. The transactions performed will be saved directly onto database server in HQ. So once you perform the transaction, it will be saved directly here. In that way, we call it that as long as you have the internet access, you may access the AutoCount accounting database anytime and anyway. As I mentioned earlier, AOTG supports multiple platforms, which means that you may log into AOTG by using the laptop, PC, smartphone, or tablet, whatever device that along, as long as you have the browser. As for the database, which is mostly concerned by the user, since the database is stored at your own HQ server, so which means that you have the full control on your database <coughs> and also you will feel more secure because you have full control on your database. So this is the features currently available in AOTG. These features are those deemed to be the features that are most frequently required and used by the people on the go. So they are similar to AutoCount accounting normal edition. So you can see that this kind of features you can get from the AutoCount accounting normal edition. Just is different in terms of the display and also the layout. It's depending on the device that you use. So this is the product features currently available, which are dashboard, debtors, sales, creditors, purchases, stock control, and also reporting. Now let's see the first features, <coughs> which is the dashboard. This is the main screen of AutoCount on the go. This is how it looks like if let's say you're using your PC, laptop or tablet to log in AOTG. The function menu will display on left. You can select the menu that you want to access. And the dashboard is those that mainly quick information related to sales, collections, invoices and other informations. 
You can see that at the, on the top right corner here is the setting function. This setting function is for you to do the setting like change password, perform the setting for the sales, purchases, stock item, and also for you to log out. <coughs> so how it looks like if you are using your smartphone to log in. This is the main screen if you are using your smartphone to log into to MTG. <coughs> So the layout is phone friendly. You can get the menu button. So you may just click on this button or we call it as an icon. Then you can select the menu to access. Similarly, there's also the setting button on the top right corner. So you may click on the setting to do whatever setting you want to do. The second feature is status. This is the adapter features. So you can click on the new button to add the adapter. Other than that, you also can generate the adapter reports, such as your adapter statement, your adapter aging report, and also for the adapter balance report. So I print screen one of the reports, which is the adapter statement report. So the function of debtor statement is similar and same with auto account accounting. So you're able to do the filter options, export, and also print out the report. The next feature is sales. There are plenty of functions for the sales features. The functions to generate the sales transaction and also generate the sales report. So for the sales transactions, you may generate such as the sales quotation, the DO, sales invoice, cash sales, receipt, CN, and DN as well. Other than that, you also can generate for the sales reports. So for the sales reports such as the customer price listing, your monthly sales analysis report, and also the price history report. So you can see that there is one of the plus sign here. So you may just click on the plus sign to add a new sales transactions. This is the layout of the sales invoice. It's one of the sales documents. So this is the sales invoice. When you log into when log into AOTG by using your PC, laptop, or maybe tablet, then this is the layout. This is the header of the sales invoice. So the header of the sales invoice is same with auto count accounting which is the header of auto count accounting sales invoice this is the body of sales invoice so the body is for you to select the item key in the price and also for the quantity when you click on the instant info then the instant info window will be prompted out if let's say you are using auto count accounting, then you will know the instant info function is very useful in most of the documents. So it also available in AOTG. On the below is the footer of the invoice. So this one is also same with auto count accounting. It will show you the total amount, the tax amount, and also for the remark field. So let's see how it looks like if you're using your smartphone to log in. This is the print screen that if let's say you want to print out the text invoice or export to the PDF. So you can see that the text invoice format is same with auto count accounting. So when you are using the smartphone to log into AOTG, the sales invoice transaction screen will look like this. So this one is the header of the invoice. So when you are using the smartphone to log in, you may scroll down, then you will get for the footer part. This is the footer part. So you may just click on the add line, then it will prompt out for the body part of the invoice. Then you can just add the item and key in the, key in the quantity and also the price. I also capture one of the sales report. This is the top bottom sales ranking report. If let's say you are using the PC, laptop, or tablet to log in, then you will get the layout of the sales reports. So as usual, you may just uh, define the filter options, 
and is able to export and also directly print out the sales report. This is how it looks like if you are using the smartphone login. So you can see that there's a search button here or the search icon here. If you may just touch on the icon, then you will get the filter options. Other than sales and debtors, we also have the features for the creditors and purchasers. So now let's see for the creditors first. This is the creditor features. So you can just add creditors and also view the creditor list. The next one will be the purchasers features. So this is the purchasers features. It's similar to the in uh, sales features. So it means that it also able to generate the purchasers transaction and also the purchasers report. So same with the sales invoice, this is the header of the purchase return entry. On top is the body of the on top is the body and the below one. <coughs> this one is the footer. Okay. Transfer function is also available for both sales and purchases transaction. For example, this one is the purchase return entry, right? So you can see that the transfer function is located at the bottom left corner here. So you may choose whether you want to perform the full transfer or partial transfer. This is the layout if let's say you're using your smartphone to log in AOTG. So this is the layout of the purchase return entry. The layout is similar to what we have in the sales invoice. So same as here, you can get the more function here at the bottom here, then you may click on this to perform the transfer function. So either you want to transfer full or transfer partial. And I have to mention again, this transfer function is available in both sales and purchases transactions. This is one of the purchase report, monthly purchase analysis report. So you can get the standard features and the standard function in the purchase reports, which is you can do for the filter options. Other than that, you also can do for the grouping. This is the layout of the purchase report. If let's say you are using your smartphone to log in, so you can touch on the icon, then you can get the filter options. Next, we take a look on the stock control modules. In AOTG, we have put in the most frequently used features for stock control. So you're able to do the stock item, stock adjustment, and also the stock balance report. This is the stock adjustment report. So it consists the function of instant import and also multi-location. Last but not least is the reporting features. Let's see for the reporting. Currently only profit and loss reports can be generated in AOTG. But we shall consider to add on more reports from time to time when necessary or maybe from your request. So we may add on the more and more reports in AOTG. So this is the profit and loss statement. So once you're using the AOTG, you also can generate the profit and loss report and you may just export it or maybe print out the report. So just now is the features that are currently available in AOTG. You may ask a lot of features but what is the benefit of using AOTG? This is the six benefits that I summarize it. There's a lot of benefits that I will share with you the most important one. <coughs> First, while the internet is available, the AOTG allows you to access auto account accounting database. So you may add, edit, save, and print out the documents anytime, anyway. You may also log into the AOTG using any device. 
as we all know, now we have a lot of different devices. So AOTG is able to support any devices as long as there's a there's a what? Browser. Okay. So the most important one, the device have the browser, then you may log into AOTG. So the next one is since the data is hosted at the own place, as I mentioned earlier, so you have the full control on the data storage, backup, security, and also the access right. Maybe you will be asked that how is the setup and installation of AOTG? The setup of AOTG is pretty easy. How pretty easy is it? You just need to install only on the server and just follow the setup wizard that we provided. Then you may just obtain the activation code and then it's done. So just a simple few steps to install and set up the AOTG. How about the fees? The fees of AOTG is very low. It's charged in on a monthly basis. I know what is the question now. You want to ask how much is the fees, is it? You have to hold on a while. Later, my colleague Mr. JS, the handsome guy, will share with you for the monthly subscription fees. So what is the benefit of monthly subscription? Because you can just pay when you want to use it. And also you can discontinue this AOTG service anytime. Okay, so as you can see that AOTG <coughs> makes your business operation easier and also more efficient. Actually, it's not only for the on-the-go user. It's also important for the accounting purpose. In terms of recording, you need to synchronize it and also the data integration. So this is the benefit that you can get if you're using AOTG. Maybe you still feel that this benefit is not related to you. Let me explain again. AOTG is a practically useful for these main categories of users. So we conclude for three main categories. Number one is for business with only one office, but there are a lot of people on the go and they need to access to auto account accounting database. The second category is for business with multiple office or maybe multiple branches. And the accounting database, they need to centralize it at the HQ. Thirdly, I think it's most of the attendants, they are, you are all, most of the participants you are most concerned is for accountants. So it's practically useful for accountants as well. For accountants who need to perform and handle the accounting entries for the clients, when the clients, they also need to perform the sales and transaction documents. So let's see for the first one. Let me explain it clearly. For single use office and the on the go user, this first category of user, you may just store your data at your HQ. So for people on the go, like the directors, manager, salesperson, they can just log into AOTG to perform the transactions. So everything they perform will be saved on the HQ database. So they can use any device to perform it. This diagram shows that people on the go, they may just log into AOTG. So once they log in, they can access to auto account accounting database which is stored at your HQ. So you may just perform the transactions, do the inquiry, and also you will be able to generate the report. The second category is for multiple office. So if let's say you have uh, multiple branches, it's also very convenient for multiple branches user. Since all the parties, also including the branches, they can access to auto account accounting database by using AOTG. So they can perform the transaction anytime and anywhere. <coughs> this is the diagram that shows for the multiple office. So means that uh, shows that the staff from the branches, they also can easily log into AOTG to access the auto account accounting database hosted at HQ. So only the HQ need to purchase the auto account accounting. 
what the branches need to do? Just subscribe AOTG. And most important one is the internet service as well. So the third category is for accountant. Accountants, they may just purchase accountant set, as mentioned earlier by Mr. Jess. So purchase the accountant set, they may host the data for the client so that you can perform your accounting transaction and service locally. <coughs> at the same time, your client, your, sorry, at the same time, the accountant may offer this AOTG for the client so that the client, they can perform the sales and purchases transaction as well. In such a way, the data of the client that you get is always up to date and integrated. So this is the diagram that shows that clients may log into AOTG to access to AutoCount accounting database, which is hosted by the accountants. <coughs> so accountant may offer AOTG as part of their accounting service and charge in a lump sum periodically. So this is what AOTG is useful for accountant. Since the data is hosted at Accountant Place, he will have the most updated information and updated accounting reports. <coughs> because whatever the clients that perform the sales and purchases transaction will be updated automatically <coughs> into the database. So it can be said that it's very useful and convenient and efficient to both accountant and also your clients. Other than that, actually, AOTG is also a better option for the light user. Some of the light user, they have the limited on their budget, and maybe they are not so willing to buy another accounting software in terms of just perform the sales and purchase transaction. I think most of you maybe will face this kind of problem, or maybe you have faced this kind of situation. So AOTG can help them. Now they can just subscribe AOTG, which is much more, much more cheaper if you compare to buy an accounting software. So when they subscribe AOTG, they're also able to perform the sales and purchases transactions. So if let's say you have uh, this kind of line user, AOTG is very suitable for this line user, or we call it that maybe a micro user. So they can just subscribe AOTG, and just perform the sales and purchases transaction. This is the system requirement for the AOTG. Actually, for the people on the go, which in their uh, access to AOTG, the most important one is just the internet and the device. So this is the system requirement for the server. So Sam, the most important one is the internet. So the broadband 1 MB for upload and download and also others is a standard requirement. I think most of the users they are using the Windows 7 or maybe above already. So for the AutoCAD accounting, the version is 1.8.27 and above. So this is the standard requirement for the AOTG. Okay, let's say you are <coughs> interested on me. No, not me. It's AOTG, sorry. <laughs> so, you don't go and search my name here. You search for AutoCount on the go, on the Facebook page. Okay? So, you just search on the Facebook page, then you may click on the sign up button here. So, you can get for the registration form. Just fill up the simple information then submit the form, then our AOTG team will receive your registration form so that they can send you the activation code for you to testing. Other than that, you also can use the QR code. You can scan for the QR code. Yeah, if you, let's say you want to scan now, you scan. No, not scan me, yeah, scan the QR code. <laughs> okay. So for further information, you can go to the AutoCount on the Go website and also the Facebook page as I mentioned just now. 
This one is the Facebook page. If let's say you want to know more about the features and also the installation setup wizard that you can get from the support website of AODG. If let's say you are prefer to listen other people explain to you, for example me, you may just call the AutoCount sales hotline 1-800-8-8-7-7-6. I'm the one who answer your call. Okay. So you may just call me if you want to listen to my voice. Okay, thank you everyone. This is my sharing of presentation. AutoCount Beyond Accounting Software.